Hey folks, my name's Ed Trevers, my pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of St. Margaret of Scotland that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Gwe. Today, I want to talk about a meme. I haven't talked about memes in a little while, so today I'm going to share with you a meme. What it says is this. First, we overlook evil. Then we permit evil. Then we legalize evil. Then we promote evil. Then we celebrate evil. Then we persecute those who still call it evil. I know what it's saying, right? And I know what it means. We can't tolerate evil. We must stomp it out somehow. We must make sure that it is never allowed to become the norm. There's lots of evil in our world today that we have accepted. There is lots of evil in our history that we've accepted and come to our senses to, to eliminate. It's reminiscent of that German poem, the one that speaks about how when they came for others, I didn't say anything because, well, they weren't coming for me, and then the day came where they came for me, and there was no one left to speak up for me. But there's a problem with it. There's a problem with this meme where it says we should stomp out evil, and the problem is that it requires us to make a judgment on what is and is not evil. You see, a meme like this can be used by people on the right, people on the left. It can be used by fundamentalist Christians and it can be used by progressive Christians. It can be used by everyone for their purpose and applied against everybody else. You could look at me and say, you're evil. Therefore, I must stomp you out. And I can look at you and say, you're evil, and therefore I must stomp you out. Someone could look at my church and say, as an inclusive church to members of the LGBTQ community, you've obviously condoned evil, and therefore you must go. People could look at an evangelical church and say, because you're not inclusive, you are promoting evil, and therefore you must go. It's the problem with judgment, isn't it? It's up to us. It's also why we're not supposed to do it. But that isn't to say we are to condone evil. It means that we're supposed to follow Christ. As Christians, we are supposed to follow Christ. And for the most part, in his teachings, Jesus doesn't ever tell us to, or Jesus doesn't focus on telling us to be against something to stand up against something, to be opposed to something. What Jesus calls us to throughout most of his teaching is that we stand for something. We, we stand up for something. We live a certain way. We adopt a purpose and a principle. We, we adopt his values, his ideals. We answer in the affirmative, his call. Because if we live as Jesus asks us to live, then we don't have to worry about judging what is or is not evil. We don't have to worry about judging what is or is not good. What we worry about is living his way. We focus on living his way. We focus on stepping where he stepped, on saying the words that he said. We focus on, 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 on practicing Loving the way he loved. Because if we do that, we see very clearly all around us. We are able to, to see and we are able to discern who is and who is not following that way. Who is and who is not living a life that is filled with charity and mercy and love and compassion and forgiveness. We see who is and who is not trying to bring about a world that is filled with love and inclusion and justice and equity. And when we are able to discern who is following Christ along those values and who is not, then we know. Then we know who is working against us then we know who is moving in the opposite direction of, of what Jesus calls us. And then we stand up. And then we speak out. And then we know 
where the lines are being drawn. But it's not because we've determined one person or one group or one action or another to be evil. It's because we know that those people, those groups, those movements, they're not moving in the same direction as Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that you and I would always be willing to stand up against those forces that are moving counter to the values of Jesus Christ. Those values of love and inclusion and justice and mercy and compassion and forgiveness, community. Those values that call all of us to be drawn ever closer to one another. Those values that call us to give and to sacrifice for our neighbor. If we do that, we are standing up against what is counter to the teachings of Jesus Christ. Counter to an abundant world. Amen. Nemultus.